This is the code I'll be using for the video, just pause it now. And the tutorial is on how to jacksy pop. And how to jacksy pop to the ceiling. Before I start, this is a bit of a backstory of this mechanic and me. Back in late 2019, I actually did this in a free play match, thought nothing of it, and then I was trying it in costume training on the walls. And back in those days, it was just air dribbles were non existent and I couldn't recover from it at all. I could do them on the wall, but Whenever it came to the actual air dribble, I just couldn't do them. I could only do them on the bit next towards the goal. Then I just gave up on them as there wasn't much point learning them as my air dribbles were too bad. And that, I think that was before like Gainer and DLG and all those came and changed the air dribbles. When I did it, I thought it would never come back again and I'm surprised it has. But this time, Jaxi populated it a lot, and I probably wasn't the first to do it. There was probably a lot more to do it before me. But it is a cool mechanic, and I will show you all the tips I know of it. So sorry if you just didn't care at all about this, but I thought some people might find it interesting to know that I've done it in 2019, and, and it's just a cool mechanic in general. And let's get on to the tutorial now. You need a very good air dribble so when you pop upwards you can recover it and score in the goal. You need very good mechanics for air car control and ball car control. Having closer camera settings can help air dribbles. My camera settings are in my description. Learning in slow mo can help some people master it faster, but it doesn't help with all people. You can do this by just going into private match and making it slow mo. Go into shot one in the pack or shot two if you like the other side, but it doesn't really matter because it's going forwards and not on an angle anyway. Boost forwards then breaks, the ball rolls up the wall, like shown on the screen now. Jump very soon after breaking and fast aerial into the ball, so boost in the air. Now for the actual ball hitting part, there's a lot of steps for this to so be where. Hit just under the centre of the ball, maybe a bit higher up than this photo because it's quite low on this one. Make sure when you hit the ball it's around the black box shown on screen now. You can go any speed into it, but I find the faster you go, the higher the pop will be, but it's just preference. When you hit the ball, your car needs to be straight on, not leaning forwards or not leaning backwards, lean straight on. If you hit the ball on the part shown it will pop up nicely, if you hit the ball above it it will pinch, any below it will not pop the ball up. 
straight after popping the ball on the wall, be ready to boost up fast and angle your car so it won't fly into the wall, so fly upwards. You need to fly up fast because you need to hit the ball when it's still high in the air, not low down so the air dribble is much easier. Your car needs to not be tilted or angled to either side, if it is the ball will just pinch away and it will not go upwards. I'll show some fails now and the reasons why there were fails as well. This happens when the ball is too low. This happens when you hit the ball too high. This happens when your car hits the ball too much in the centre so it pops away. This happens when your car is not tilted or angled. This happens when your car is leaning too far upwards. This happens when your car leans too far downwards and it just pinches it. This happens when you're too far above the ball. This happens when your car's angled to the side so it pops the ball in another direction. Be patient with this mechanics, it will take a long time and it's a very complex one. And if you've got any questions or worries or anything that's going wrong, just ask in the comments and I'll reply to everything. I'll run the sub to me section, then I'll go into the pop to the ceiling part. It's much more complex to beware. I'm going to pause the video here to say that 91% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you could go down below, hit the bell and sub to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. I do weekly tutorials and general videos on Rocket League and it would just mean a lot if you subbed and liked my videos and hopefully see you in the future ones. Use the same training pack as before for the shot. And this part of the tutorial is on how to jacksy pop, then go to the ceiling afterwards. You need a lot better mechanics than before for the jacksy pop. You need to be very consistent with the normal jacksy pops before going on to this one. You need to be able to turtle to ceiling because of the going to the ceiling part of it. You need to be able to gain a lot of height of air dribbles. I'm using shot 8 and air dribble gauntlet. This is the workshop map I used and get it on Steam Workshops. If you're on console, do a pogo off the ceiling and practice getting the ball and hitting it towards the top of the ceiling and gaining height of the air dribble off the pogo. Hitting a tiny bit under the ball than normal and a bit higher on the wall will make the ball go higher in the air and therefore easier to get to the ceiling. It's basically a bit like a pinch but not really. You don't want the ball to hit the ceiling but you also want it high enough to be able to get to the ceiling. So make it like near the ceiling height but not hitting it. Having more speed and hitting the ball might help the ball to go higher or jumping earlier than flying towards the ball might make it 
easier to hit at higher. Using slow-mo can help people a lot with this, but it might not help you, it works if someone doesn't with others. The height of the ball in the air depends how many touches you do before going to the ceiling. I recommend around two to start with, but it depends how high the ball is. In this case I did one, but you can do more touches to get to the ceiling. Hitting the very bottom of the ball can keep it in the air at a better height for longer than hitting it to the sides where it just falls down quicker and it doesn't stay in the air that long. Now for cam work, my cam's in the bottom left hand corner. This is for making the clip cleaner and more likely to join clip hitting cans. Nothing else to say in this tutorial except it's just a grind and it's quite hard to do, hard to master, but keep doing it, you'll get one, then you'll get more and more and more, and I wish you luck, comment below, I will help anyone, I answer all comments, and thanks for watching, see you in the next videos, I'll do more tutorials on unusual shots, and I'm going to start doing top 10 videos as well, so see you in those and see you.